Lexi Romano with Phoenix Finds. I'm here with another five minute find. And today I am so excited to be talking to Justin Keller. He is the founder of The Mixologer. Justin, thank you so much for hanging out today. Thanks, Lexi. Pleasure to be here. Yeah, so tell me a little bit about The Mixologer, why you started it, kind of what your inspiration was behind it. Yeah, so we ship portion mixology kits to easily make bar quality cocktails at home with convenience and no wasteful spending. I've long been a cocktail connoisseur. I saw a trend in the meal delivery kit market. And so I started thinking if people are wanting to make or have more food kits delivered, they probably also want to have more cocktail kits delivered. So I researched the market and found that no one company was conquering all the distribution channels and saw an opening. So when you send out your kits, they have everything in them, right? Exactly. So you'll receive a small little box similar to this, and they'll include all the ingredients. Some kits include the alcohol and some will not to make four servings for each cocktail. And tell me about some of your more popular cocktails that you guys are doing right now. Right now, uh, what's really popular is our summer mixology sampler. It's the Acai Baby, which is the mixologer original. And then we also have the Jungle Bird, which we'll be making today. And also we have the Ultimate Old Fashioned Box, which is a really popular Father's Day gift. It includes eight different whiskey variations and all the ingredients to make eight slightly different old fashions. Oh, I love that. So you can do kind of different ones. What a great idea for Father's Day. That's brilliant. I love it. For people who want to order this and have it shipped, can you ship anywhere in the U.S.? Where all do the box, where can they go? So we ship all kits without alcohol to all 50 states. And if we do include alcohol, we have a limited selection of states. It's around 33 right now. Well, that's great. So tell me what we're going to be making today. So this is the Jungle Bird. It is a spirit forward tiki cocktail with both rum and Campari. Campari is one of those more rare ingredients. It's an Italian aperitif, and it's going to add a mild, bitter complexity to offset the more traditional, sweeter tiki cocktail. I love it. So I just want to show you guys, this is what my box looks like. It's beautiful. And inside, I'm going to try not to tip everything over here, but I have a beautiful selection of stuff. We have a little card on how to do it, some directions. There's also things that you're going to need. And it comes with all of these beautiful pre-portioned things go into your cocktail, which is so cool because you don't really have to do that much, that much work. It comes kind of done for you. All right. So Justin, walk me through this. What am I doing here? Okay. So we're going to start by grabbing a a rocks glass yes sir looks similar to this and we're going to fill it with ice we recommend clear ice which is more pure and melts slower so we posted a video to our social channels on how to make clear ice easily at home um, if you're curious on how to do that Great. grab our shaker to that we're going to start with a whole shooter of classico number no. three aged rum Gonna add the whole bottle. Woo! 1.7 ounces. Ah, I like that sound. That's a good sound. <laughs> so we're gonna follow that with Campari, and we're gonna add 0.75 ounces, or roughly half this shooter. So okay. depending how close or specific you want to be, you can eyeball it, or you can measure it out in a jigger. I'm gonna eyeball it. Why not? Let's do it. Gonna follow it up with 1.5 ounce of pineapple juice. What we ship is exactly six ounces, so you're gonna pour exactly one fourth of this can. Perfect. Yeah, that's about a fourth. That'll work. <laughs> it's not a science. Right. <laughs> so we're gonna follow that with half an ounce of lime juice, or again, a fourth of this bottle. And finally, we're going to add half an ounce of pineapple gum syrup. So this is gum arabic, water, sugar, and pineapple juice, and it's a thickening agent that's going to add a frothy top to the cocktail. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Oh my gosh, this is like pineapple in a bottle. So good. Yum. All right, so we're going to go ahead and add some ice to the shaker. Okay. Gonna shake that for 12 to 15 seconds. 
Ready? <laughs> like Tom Cruise in Cocktail. Totally. So this is beautiful. It's so frothy. I love it. So then we're going to pour that. Right onto a rocks glass. So the harder you shake it, the more froth you're going to get at the top there. I must have uh, shaken it really hard because I have a lot of froth on mine. Definitely did a better job than I. <laughs> no way. I love it. Are we, Are we going for it? Yeah. All right. Cheers to you, my friend. Cheers. Oh, that is so good. Ooh. It's sweet, but it's not too sweet. You definitely get the Campari. The Campari definitely adds a nice note of complexity. Most of the tiki cocktails you see are just, they're very sweet. And so it's like one and done. So the Campari makes this kind of a, a multi-drinkable cocktail. Justin, actually, will you tell us your social media? So website is themixologer.com, Facebook, The Mixologer, Instagram, The Mixologer, and we just joined TikTok, The Mixologer. Nice. So The Mixologer across the board. Yep. I like it. Well, everybody definitely go check them out. And you guys, these cocktails are delicious. This is so good. This is restaurant quality right here in your own kitchen. Justin, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me, Lexi. Absolutely. Cheers. Cheers. I watch a lot of YouTube videos and some of these guys making drinks have some great. Oh yeah, but can you do the like flipping the bottles and stuff? I mean, you don't have bottles right now, but I mean, can you do all that stuff too? I would if my laptop was not here, otherwise I'm sure I'd do it in a second.